to go. This awesome. is the day that the Lord hath made, and I will, I will rejoice, rejoice and be it. glad in it. Amen. 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 I mean, really, this is the day. This is a beautiful day. It's mm -hmm. after an uh, uh, afternoon of rain. Mm -hmm. There is a freshness of <sighs> clean air. There, <laughs> pollen has been knocked down. Yeah. The plants will come to life. The flowers will bloom. The grass will need to be mowed. <laughs> 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 but today we're continuing with a look into Samuel. Mm -hmm. And we have 10 verses to share with you. Uh, from 1 Samuel chapter 10, some people, two, chapter 2, chapter two <laughs> 10 verses, chapter 2, 1 Samuel, some people call these the song yes. of, of Hannah. Yeah. The first verse says, Hannah prayed, but these are 10 verses that we're going to share, and we're going to start off by just reading them. So allow God's word to reach into your heart and minister to you. I'm Matt. And I'm Randy. And you've just joined the Morning Devotion. We're here to encourage you through the Word so that you can be strong in the faith. And live victoriously in Christ. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray that you would anoint your Word today, yes. that it would, Lord, yes. come into our hearts and speak into our lives, that it would bring encouragement where we need encouragement, strength where we are weak, Lord, joy where there is sorrow, health where there is sickness, confidence where there is timidity lord in the name of jesus i pray thank you amen, amen. god's word is a blessing let's just we're just going to read it through and then we'll go back and talk about it but we're going to start and again first samuel chapter two starting in verse number one i don't know where to start in the i have the new king james version Seth, you, read, right you, you read one and i'll read the other okay and hannah prayed and said my heart rejoices in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. I smile at my enemies because I rejoice in your salvation. Remember, she had just given the child that God gave her to Eli to be raised in the temple forever. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. Verse 3. Talk no more so very proudly. Let no arrogance come from your mouth. For the Lord is the God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty men are broken, and they that stumble are girded with strength. Those who were full have hired themselves out for bread, and the hungry have ceased to hunger. Even the barren has borne seven, and she who has many children has become feeble. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down the grave and bringeth up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low and lifts up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust, and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill, to set them among princes, and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. He will guard the feet of his saints, but the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength no man shall prevail. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken into pieces. Out of heaven shall be thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Heavenly Father, Lord, again, we come before you. Lord, these verses are rich in promises that you give to your children. I pray, Lord, that you would take this, Lord, your word and anoint it into our lives. Let it resonate throughout the day. Let us mull upon it. Let it be part of our life. In Jesus' name. 
Thank you. Amen. 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 God's word is great. And these verses carried on forward through many people's philosophies. These, these yes. things that she said. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be just great to think my mom was a godly woman? That was my mom. She dropped her son off. But this woman, Hannah, obviously had a very good and godly perspective in life. And it showed through the things that she said in these 10 verses. And you know, all of this happened out of a heart, of a pain that she carried a long time. Because think of how many kids Penaniah had. So this wasn't something that just happened. This had been a hurt that she had carried for a while Amen. and finally laid it before the Lord. The Lord heard her cry. The Lord answered her prayer and she was faithful to keep her vow to the Lord and give back that child to him. When she left him at the temple, she knew that was it. He was never going to come home as a little boy. From then on, he was going to be there. You know, the, the phrase where it says, my horn is exalted. To have your horn exalted meant to receive new strength from God and be especially helped by Him at a time of crisis. So when you hear that term, my horn is exalted in the Lord, she was receiving strength from the Lord. At a time of crisis, at a time that she could have chosen to be depressed and down. Instead, she chose to sacrifice a praise to the Lord. You know, Warren Worsby said, The world doesn't understand the relationship between sacrifice, song, and how God's people can sing their way into sacrifice and sacrifice their way into singing. You know, you can be praising the Lord and it take you into a situation that is a tough situation. And how, by the Spirit of the Lord, the strength that He gives, in that hard situation, you can then sacrifice a song to the Lord. Amen. It is just an offering that you do of God in the midst, just because of who He is. You know, we've talked about worship. Worship Him because of who He is. If you don't feel like praising, hallelujah, all happy, but worship Him because of Amen. who He is. That's kind of the theme that we've had going underneath all, all of this is that there's a difference between praise and worship. Praise generally is woo hoo hoo yeah! Where worship is a more, a more solemn thing, but worship goes beyond just you bowing your head to worship to the Lord. Worship carries into so many aspects of, of life. Even, even giving is a form of worship. Even giving is a way to, to worship the Lord. It's, it's not an interruption in a service. It's a continuation of the worship of a service. And worship can lead you into praise. Amen. Amen. When you worship God, and you press through the problem, then it leads into praise. She said, talked about her mouth being enlarged over her enemies. Her testimony could be known. When, when you say, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, and, it, and your enemies, the people who are standing against you, the, your, the friends of you, your friends that are doubters and naysayers, say ah that'll never happen they're just religious they that you know what when it happens then they're going to say wow they were right this has happened in scripture over and over again where somebody proclaimed something from god mm -hmm. against what other people thought was logical and it came to pass and the people who were talking negatively against it said well their God is God that's found throughout the scripture stand strong in the Lord stand strong in Amen. his word 
Stand strong in the promises that he has made and don't lose hope. Amen. Don't give up on the brink of a miracle. God provides. I'm just going to do verse 2 because this reminds you why you can Amen. stand like Matthew was just saying. Verse 2 says, No one is holy like the Lord, for there is none besides you, nor is there any rock like our God. All three of those were meaning the same thing. In Hebrew Amen. poetry, that was something that they would do sometimes. It wouldn't be that words would rhyme, but what they were saying all went together. It was the same idea being said in different ways. Mm -hmm. And that's what she's doing here. God. No one is holy like yeah. the Lord. And there is none besides you. Yeah. And there is no, that nor is there any rock like our God. So God is our rock. God is our foundation. And when he shows that to you and you go through something and you find out, well, then it's easier for you to keep a praise, praise song, song in your heart, heart and, and rejoice, rejoice in, in the, the Lord, Lord always. always. And again, I say rejoice. <laughs> Love you. See you tomorrow morning. Hey, if you're living in the Central Florida area and you're looking for a church to attend, we would love so much for to you to come you. down and visit with us at Intercession City Church of God. Amen. Our service starts at 1030. We start ministering at about 11. Mm -hmm. And usually we're done by about 11.35, 11, 11.45 11, or so. Mm -hmm. It's a relaxed atmosphere, but we don't compromise the Word of God. Yeah. So come on in and join us. We sincerely would love to have you there. God bless, and we'll hopefully see you tomorrow morning. <laughs>